Radio Patrick Mission High School mabingwa wa masomo ya sayansi matokeo ya kidato cha 4 mwaka 2022 pia mabingwa wa masomo ya biashara na masomo ya lugha na sanaa kimkoa na kitaifa kidato cha sita miaka minne mtawalia shule imeshika nafasi ya sita mkoa wa Dar es Salaam mwaka 2022 imefaulisha kwa daraja la kwanza na la pili tu pia imetoa wanafunzi watatu wa daraja la kwanza nukta saba. Ya yeah, chuo cha takwimu mashariki mwa Afrika uh, ni chuo cha kikanda ambacho kinamhudumia nchi zote ambazo zinatumia lugha ya Kiingereza. Kwa Kiingereza naita Anglophone country. Lakini chuo kinasimamiwa na taasisi za hapa nyumbani lakini vile vile taasisi za kimataifa. Kama mnafahamu chuo hapa kinasimamiwa na taasisi ya elimu ya ufundi naita Nactivate. Lakini kule nje pamoja na taasisi zingine pia tunasimamiwa na taasisi ya commission ya uchumi ya Africa au United Nations Economic Commission for Africa UNECA. Kile ndani ya UNECA kuna kituo cha takwimu kinaitwa African Center for Statistics. Sasa mgeni wa leo ni mkurugenzi wa kituo cha takwimu ndani ya UNECA. Kwa chuo kimebahatika kupata ugeni uh, wa mgeni huyu bwana Oliver Chenganya ambaye atakuwa hapa kwa siku tatu pamoja na kutembelea chuo na kujionea maendeleo ya chuo na kufanya mazungumzo na uh, uongozi wa chuo lakini pia atapata nafasi ya kutoa mdahalo au tunaitaka lecture atatoa lecture kwa wanafunzi wetu wa uzamivu au master au postgraduate uh, students kwa muda wa siku tatu kuanzia kesho leo leo kidogo atafanya kesho na kesho kutwa na katika mdahalo wake atajikita sana kwenye mambo ambayo wanakutana nayo takwimu sababu takwimu chetu sisi tunafundisha pamoja na wanafunzi wengine tunafundisha wafanyakazi ambao wanatoka kwenye mifumo ya takwimu na tunao program ambayo ni ya mwaka mmoja ambayo inafundisha watu au wafanyakazi wa ofisi za takwimu za nchi mbalimbali kwa sasa chuo kwenye program chuo kina zaidi ya nchi tatu ambazo zinafaika na hiyo program kwa hiyo tulipenda pia angepata nafasi ya kufundisha katika program. Na kufundisha kwake atatoa mdahalo na pia kushare experience au kubadilishana uzoefu. Sababu yeye amefanya kazi kwa mifumo ya takwimu kwa muda mrefu ni mbobevu masuala ya takwimu uh, katika nchi yake. Anatoka ya Zambia lakini vile vile kimataifa. Amefanya kwenye uh, ma, 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 taasisi nyingi sana za kimataifa pamoja na UNECA ambako anafanya kazi sasa hivi. Kwa hiyo tunategemea kwamba wanafunzi wetu watapata ufahamu lakini vile vile watajifunza kivitendo nini ambacho kinafanywa au nini ambacho kifanywe kwenye taasisi zao watakaporudi iliweze kupambana na changamoto ambazo ziko katika ulimwengu wa takwimu in terms of research institutions i'm not i don't know how many research institutions are in, 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 in Tanzania but my feeling is that there are probably you have uh, the right number of institutions perhaps it's not the number of institutions it's the Uh, how you use the people that come out of those institutions to be able to provide and meet the demand on data uh, as we said earlier on I was talking to some people that you know these days we not just talk about um, institution that produce data there are other institutions also doing different things and producing this kind of data is the question is how do we integrate and be able to work with the other institutions that are more or less doing the same things so really it's not a, um, an, an issue of number of institutions it's what comes out of there the Eastern African Statistical Training Center uh, Statistical Center I think is one of those institutions that produces some of the quality as you know level of of people that come out with statistics I'm a product of that myself I used to be at the center uh, many years ago I'm a product of that and now I I I I'm even a vice president of the International Statistical Institute uh, you know at the very li- at the global level so you can see that we do have institutions in the in on, on the continent is perhaps is the quality what we get out of those institutions and um, perhaps that's what matters but we do have in the right institutions I think which particular but if you're referring to the, the Eastern Africa Statistical Training Center I think to me is one of the best um uh, first of all we must appreciate that this is an institution that was set up in 1965 
just after independence. And the reason it was set up was to be able to fill up the gap uh, of the data requirements that was needed in many of the countries that had just attained their independence. So having to get an institution uh, that was able to lead that process to chunk out statisticians, demographers, to help, um, it just tells you how important it was. Perhaps over time, maybe one of the things that we have not been able to follow through is to appreciate and recognize that the Eastern Africa Statistical Training Center is actually a regional entity. Is a regional institution and therefore need to get support not only from the country but also from the countries to which it is supporting and that's very very important to be able to continue uh, to attain the objective to a set up in 1965. The quality of the data, the quality of the data like, as I mentioned depends on the instruments that you use. You know it's like garbage in, garbage out, right? So if you are going to to cook something in a pot that is not properly cooked, or we're not, we're not prepared uh, set up, obviously not going to get what you need. But as I said earlier on, I think that in terms of quality um, of the data produced by those people that come through these institutions is very good. Good example, you just had a census here in Tanzania in 2020, 2022. I was part of those people that came to help disseminate uh, together with the president in, in Dodoma. And you can see the data that was produced. Tanzania is the only country in Africa that produced the data within 45 days after the census. You know, it's the first country to do that. Uh, and, and that is exemplary. Uh, many of our countries, even after digitalization, they were able to produce a census after three months. But Tanzania beat that record of three months to about 45 days after the census. So. And, and, and uh, it was not just the numbers. There was even publications that uh, the president was able to share, and this would be during the, you know, in the Doma. So, uh, and there was a, a global accepta um, acceptance of the results themselves. That means there was credibility already on those results that were being uh, uh, disseminated by the president in, in Dodoma. We, currently, I think the uh, curriculum of the, um, uh, most of the training centers maybe needs to be revisited, because I think that um, uh, there are new things that have come. There are new demands, there are new approaches, and I think maybe there is at some point that we need to revisit to include new things that have come, uh, you know, issues about technology. A few years ago, you know, we were not collecting information from mobile phones. But now we are collecting data from mobile phones, from tablets and so forth. A few years ago, we could not think about collecting data from, uh, from the website or even to go to a supermarket and scan a data. So these things need to be included now in the curriculum. So there are new challenges. I think those new challenges require that we embed them into the, into the curriculum. But beyond that also is how do we embrace the, uh, um, uh, what I call uh, development statistics, official statistics. We work for, for instance, the National Bureau of Statistics here. How do we bring them into the core? Uh, to bring practical development issues in the curriculum itself. So it is adequate, but I think there are additional things that need to be put in place to tackle the new and emerging uh, issues that are coming up. I think a lot already is being done. The integration uh, between the academia and uh, official statisticians. Um, me being here uh, as a practitioner, that's already an example that a lot is being done. I think the East Africa uh, um, Statistical Training Center is a good example, uh, bringing in people that are practitioners uh, from uh, you know, other places. Already even the people that are get, get trained here, these are people coming from the national statistical offices. So it's already trying to bridge the gap between uh, that. But also I think the other part that needs to be improved on is that how do we get the academia to be involved in the research, in further in-depth analysis of the data that comes out from the, the data collected by the National Statistical Offices. This is another area where uh, we're having challenges as statisticians, that um, as research institutions, I think there's very little uh, funding that goes into data and statistics. Now everyone in this world, including yourself, you will tell me data is very important. But if I, was to, if I was to give you three other things to say to rank data, you'll find that you're putting statistics at the bottom. And yet you told me it's very important. Why is it so? I think one of the reasons why we are seeing those kind of discrepancies is because we have not put an economic value to data yet. I think that's one thing that we need to do. Is that, so yes, I think in terms of resources going into data, is it not enough? Um, uh, the estimates are much, much, much higher if we were to, to be able to do that. You need the infrastructure, the IT, and uh, the, the skills that are required to go into there, much, much more. So governments are doing uh, their part, I think including the government of Tanzania, there's a lot that is doing, but much more is required really to turn around. Statistical literacy, for instance, if we go out here and ask the uh, ordinary persons, uh, what does it mean GDP? Uh, GDP of Tanzania is about X amount. What does it mean? Probably they don't understand, they don't know. So those are questions that, you know, to, to be able to do that means you need to increase the statistical literacy. 
And this is why we're saying there's not enough resources to be able to go around and educate everyone to understand when you say the inflation number is this. What does it actually mean? How does it impact an individual or a home? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things that we have seen in most of African countries is the moving away from the traditional way of collecting data using technology. Again, I'll come back to Tanzania. Last year they demonstrated that you could use a tablets yes. to collect the data. Many years ago, 10 years ago, um, Tanzania used to go paper-based, you know, uh, to go to interviews and whatever. And to, to analyze that data, it was taking two years even more. But this time around, they collected that data using tablets and they were able to analyze the data within 45 days. So one way of really improving it is to move away from the traditional ways of doing business to, to the modern ways. What is this modern way? Is to use the technology that is available. What is this technology? Is to use the gadgets that's available. But also, we have a lot of young people that are tech savvy, using their potential for them to be able to be part of the process. We can't ignore these people, young people, because they, have their, they, 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 they are so skilled in the use of uh, uh, mobile uh, gadgets, technology, and so forth. So we need to tap on their potential to be able to do that. So it's, it's moving away from ways of, um, mod, um, old ways of doing business to modern ways of doing business that is used technology. Statistical bring, trying to bring productivity is everybody, in my view. Because first of all, uh, I talked about statistical literacy. I think if my mother, my grandmother, my cousins were not statisticians, they are trained on the importance of data, why they should be, give you data, why the government should collect data from them, if they can understand why it is important to give data, that becomes this important. So as long as uh, ordinary people don't understand the value of data, uh, it becomes a problem. So for me, it is that everyone must be able to be told why do you have to get the data. And you know, everyone uses data. Even for you, even before you go to the market, to a supermarket, you use data to decide what you're going to buy. Yes, you have sat down, this is what I want to do. You're using data to do that. So by the time you get into the market, you already know what you want. So statistical literacy, uh, I think enhancing statistical literacy becomes critical. Productivity of data itself, I think it's to improve the National Statistical Office. In this case, the National, the Tanzania National Bureau of Statistics must be enhanced, must be raised in terms of its, its, its portfolio, must be given the, uh, uh, the right resources, reskilling, retooling, the capacity for it to be able to produce data now. We don't want the data that is produced today and you only get it after two weeks. We want them to be, have the skills that produce the data today and you're able to get the data the same day. So it, it means building necessary capacity to skilling so they're able to produce the data and also have the means. The final part of it is the issue of what you talked about, storage. We need, we need to invest a little bit more in storage. Yes. Cloud story in the clouds yes. and, and other means of, of data, uh, uh, be, being able to uh, provide the necessary capacity, but also people who are able to manage that storage. We can find the storage, but we have the skills for people to manage yeah. the data. So all that, I think, needs to be skilled. You need to retool and reskill people to have the capacity that is needed. For now, the statistical legislation in Tanzania was um, uh, amended not too long ago. I think for now, it seems to be serving the purpose. Uh, perhaps at some point in the, you know, it might need to be reviewed to integrate new, uh, new thinking, particularly around technology, issues of technology, uh, and also embracing new skills in the institution. We no longer just need statisticians now. We also need other people with other skills, sociologists data technicians, um, infographic experts, and so forth. So the law, I think, suffices. It, for now, it seems to be working. Uh, perhaps at some point, it might need to be looked at in how we embrace other, uh, other producers of data, other users of data, and things like that. But I think African countries uh, that have updated their laws using the UN fundamental principles, I think they've got adequate laws, um, maybe tinkering here and there. Uh, because what is important is, first of all, data protection. And the supply of data must be protected, the one who is giving the data. But even the collector itself must be protected. So all that is embedded in the law. Suletu, tumeanza kutoa na fast, tumeanza kutoa forms za kidato cha tano, na kila jumamosi tunafanya mitiani ya kujunga kidato cha tano. Forms ya patikana, msima center, duka na ambatisa. Suletu, imetoa daaja la kwanza na wapili kama tokea ya ifumbili na ishirini na mbili, na shui kwa ya saba, lakini imetoa mtoto wa kwanza Tanzania nzima, imetoa mtoto wa tatu Tanzania nzima masomo ya biashara lakini waitoa mtoto wa saba Tanzania nzima katika masomo ya lugha na sanaa tunawachukua watoto wote wa michepuo ya biashara na michepuo ya lugha na sanaa karibuni sana wote